Are you riding? Say you'll never ever leave from beside me Cause I want ya and I need ya And I'm down for ya always, baby Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you'll never ever leave from beside me Cause I want ya and I need ya Hi curl friend, Naturally Rhonda here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, stay a while, subscribe. Check out some of my other content. I've been noticing lately, I have some new subscribers, so I definitely want to welcome everyone here. For those of you that don't know, I post weekly videos and once a month I post curl box unboxing and curl box review videos. If you would like to see my latest curl box review, I will leave that in the cards up above. I also post daily content on my Instagram, so you should follow me there if you're not already doing so. I will leave my Instagram handle down below. It's at Naturally Rhonda. I'm not sure if y'all can hear that, but my neighbors are doing firecrackers. But the show must go on. This is my first time trying either of these two products, but this is from the Main Choices Core Collection. For my leave-in, I will be using the Soft As Can Be 3-in-1 Revitalize and Refresh Conditioner. And this conditioner claims to be a co-wash, leave-in, and a detangler. I'm just gonna be using it as a leave-in though, cause I already shampooed my hair. Then I will be topping that off with the Crystal Orchid Biotin Infused Styling Gel. I've heard a lot of things about this gel. I know some people use it as a one and done. Some of the people who say that they use this by itself say that their hair feels a little dry afterwards. So that's why I'm gonna go in with the leave-in that pairs with it. If you have used this gel before, let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. Do you like it? Do you still use it? All right, let's just jump right into the video. First things first, my handy dandy spray bottle of water. I like to go in with wet hair, especially if I've never used the products before and I don't know how they're gonna perform on my hair. I'd rather my hair be wet. That's the way I get the best results. Hmm. It has a nice, clean, sweet smell to it, if that makes any sense. It's creamy, but it's not too thin. It definitely feels like it's going to moisturize my hair. And I could see how this could be used as a detangler because it definitely has slipped. I'm just gonna wet it just a little bit more before I go on with the gel. This is what the gel looks like. I don't wanna tilt it anymore because it's not super thick, so it will spill out of the tub. I don't want that. This is the consistency. Going in with some more. This doesn't feel as thick as say like wet line or eco, but I do think that this will still clump my curls. I'm excited to see the result. Don't neglect your roots. Okay, she's clumping my curls, okay. I'm just doing some light shingling. All right, this is what we're working with. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Of course, you never know until it's dry. So my last hair tutorial, which was a chatty twist out video. I was talking about my thoughts on Juneteenth. So I will leave that video in the cards up above if you wanna check that out. In this video though, I want to just quickly give my thoughts on Black Lives Matter. So there are different schools of thought. There are the people who say, well, when they hear Black Lives Matter, some people say, no, all lives matter. Why just black lives? And therein lies your misunderstanding. Black Lives Matter is not Black Lives Matter over white lives or any other lives. It's not Black Lives Matter more instead of any of that. It's Black Lives Matter, period. It's just saying that they matter. It's just saying that our lives matter because based on things that we have seen, based on the history of our country, that isn't really evident that Black Lives Matter. The analogy that I see so many people use is, okay, if your house is on fire, and the fire department comes, they go to put out the fire at your house and your neighbor comes out and says, hey, uh-uh, all houses matter. Why don't you spray down my house? Yes, all houses matter, but your house is not on fire right now. Then there are the people who say, who hear Black Lives Matter and they say, oh, Blue Lives Matter, referring to the police. And some of y'all might disagree with me and that is quite all right. But for me, I say no, Blue Lives don't matter because blue lives do not exist. Blue life, meaning your job, 
is something that you can one day retire from. Or even if you just feel like you're tired of it, you can stop doing that. I can't stop being black. It's, this is what I am. I'm a black woman. Then there are the people who are like, yeah, no, I feel you, I'm with the cause, but I don't like saying Black Lives Matter or posting Black Lives Matter or associating with Black Lives Matter because there are other groups that have co-opted Black Lives Matter and are pushing different narratives that I just don't agree with. Or the people who say, okay, but Black Lives Matter is funded by, who is that? Um, I can't remember who it is, but they're basically saying like Black Lives Matter is funded by some unsavory characters I'll, I'll just say that which very well may be true when i say black lives matter i'm not referring to any organization any business i'm referring to literal black lives i'm referring to the countless black lives that have been stolen from us the ones that we know about and the ones that we don't know about. I am referring to the fact that, yes, there are a lot of people who are up in arms about George Floyd, and that was horrible, that man was murdered. But it's also about Tamir Rice, Philando Castile, Trayvon Martin, Sean Bell, Sandra Bland, Amadou Diallo. Like the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Those four little girls that were killed in that church. And yes, I understand that there are some people who like even during the protest, they like there's videos that you see of people spraying BLM or Black Lives Matter on buildings and they're not black people. They're people who are there to disrupt and try to change the narrative of the protests. There are people who are there breaking windows and stuff who were not down for the cause, who weren't there to protest. I get it if you don't want to support and donate to Black Lives Matter as an organization. Cool, that's fine. There are plenty of other organizations that are for the betterment of our people. But I think about Black Lives Matter the same way that I think about Christianity. There are plenty of people who have done despicable things in the name of Christianity. Slavery, pedophilia, homophobia, just to name a few things that people have done in the name of Christianity and even tried to use Christianity and biblical texts to justify this horrible behavior. That doesn't stop me from being a Christian because I also understand that those people do not represent me. Their bad acts do not represent the religion as a whole. Just like there are some people who have co-opted the messaging of Black Lives Matter, I do not know who funds the organization of Black Lives Matter, but I do know what that sentence, that statement, that affirmation means. If you think about like just each word of that phrase, if you break it down in its most simplest form, it's just saying that they matter. They mean something. Black lives mean something. Black lives have value. So no, I don't see anything wrong with saying that. But I told myself that I was not going to go on a super long rant in this video like I did in the last video. I'm gonna stop right here. And I will be back when all the product is all in. Okay, so the product is all in. Now I'm going to just sit under my hooded dryer and I will be back when my hair is dry. All right, I am back. My hair is all dry and these are my finished results. So deep in my feelings. No, it ain't even like me. Can't control my anxiety. I'm very pleased with this wash and go. There is a slight gel cast, but it's nothing that I'm not used to and nothing that I can't scrunch out with a little bit of oil once my hair is 100% dry. It's not the same as a eco or wet line gel cast so it's definitely softer than those and i do have more frizz than i would if i would have used say a wet line but i'm okay with that i think this is a nice mixture of frizz and definition so i'm not complaining at all this is my third time trying a collection from the main choice i've already tried the ancient egyptian line and the tropical moringa line i have videos on both of those that i will link down below in the description box as well as up above in the cards i will be working on some 
how to type videos for example like how i slick back my hair how i sleep with my hair how i wet plop my hair how i work out with my hair so be on the lookout for those and if there were any other how to natural hair videos that i didn't just mention but you are interested in seeing how i do something with my natural hair just let me know down below in the comments but that's about it for this wash and go wednesday video this is the point of the video where i point your attention to some of my other videos and playlists i love you for watching y'all please be safe out there and i'll see you in the next one